Thank you for opting my video. In this video, I'll be teaching you types of chemical reactions, combination reaction, decomposition reaction, and types of decomposition reactions. Chemical reactions are classified into different types. Let us see what are they. Combination reaction, decomposition reaction, single displacement reaction or just displacement reaction, double displacement reaction and in today's video I am going to explain you briefly about combination reaction and decomposition reaction. Before we get to know the different chemical equations for different types, let me explain you with some pictorial representation for your proper understanding. So let's see, here you have uh, one reactant and another reactant, so totally two reactants which are reacting to form one single product. In simple words we can say that two reactants are combining to form one product and these type of reactions we call it as combination reactions. Now let us see a proper definition for combination reaction. A reaction in which two or more reactants combine to form a single product is known as a combination reaction. So here A and B are the two reactants which react to form AB as the product. So two reactants and one product. Combination reactions are also known as synthesis reaction because the reactants are reacting to form a new product. In other words we can say that we are synthesizing a new product. So that's the reason combination reactions are also known as synthesis reactions. Let me teach you a few examples for combination reactions. Na plus Cl2 giving NaCl. So here Na and Cl2 are the reactants and NaCl is the product. Mg plus O2 giving MgO. So Mg and O2 are the two reactants and MgO is a product. S plus O2 giving SO3. S and O2 are the reactants, SO3 is the product. In these three examples, elements are the reactants. So two elements are combining to form one single product. Let us see few examples in which two compounds combine to form one single product. Calcium oxide plus water giving calcium hydroxide. In this equation, CaO that is calcium oxide is a compound, H2O water is another compound which combine to form CaOH twice that is calcium hydroxide. MgO plus CO2 giving MgCO3. So magnesium oxide combining with carbon dioxide to give magnesium carbonate. Let us move on to the next type of reaction. And here we have one reactant which is breaking down into two products. So one reactant breaking down to form two products. These type of reactions are known as decomposition reactions. Decomposition reaction. The opposite of a combination reaction. The reason why decomposition reaction is known as the opposite of combination reaction is in combination reaction two or more reactants will combine to form one single product. On the other hand, in decomposition reaction, one reactant will break down into two or more simpler products. The reaction in which one reactant breaks down into two or more products is known as decomposition reaction. AB is a reactant that is one single reactant breaking down into a and B, so two products. Classified into three types based on the source of energy used in decomposition process. So let us see what are the types of decomposition reactions. Types of decomposition reactions. Decomposition reactions are classified into three different types based on the source that is energy source which is required for breaking down the reactants into simpler products. When decomposition reaction takes place in the presence of electricity, we call it as electrolytic decomposition or electrolysis. It means splitting of reactant in the presence of electricity. When decomposition reaction takes place in the presence of heat, 
it is known as thermal decomposition or thermolysis splitting in presence of heat energy when decomposition reaction takes place in the presence of light we call it as photolytic decomposition or photolysis splitting in presence of light let us now discuss the different types of decomposition reactions with an example each electrolytic decomposition chemical decomposition produced by passing an electric current through a liquid or a solution containing ions is known as electrolytic decomposition splitting of water in presence of electricity into h2 plus o2 thermal decomposition a thermal decomposition reaction occurs when heat is applied to a compound causing it to decompose into multiple different chemical substances cacao3 calcium carbonate upon heating the triangle symbol above the arrow indicates the reactant is undergoing heating gives calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide CuSO4.5H2O it means it is hydrated copper sulfate which is blue in color upon heating gives CuSO4 which turns white after losing its uh, water of crystallization plus 5H2O in both of these reactions one single reactant is undergoing decomposition in presence of heat to form two simpler products photolytic decomposition when decomposition reaction is carried out by light it is called photolytic decomposition silver chloride salt which has white color in the presence of light decomposes into silver and chlorine silver bromide which is a pale yellow salt in the presence of light decomposes into silver and bromine I think now all are familiar with the different types of decomposition reactions based on the source of energy which is involved. Here is a test yourself question: Why are silver salts stored in dark colored bottles? Kindly type your answers in the comment section. In this video, we have seen types of chemical reactions, combination reaction, decomposition reaction, and its types like. electrolytic decomposition thermal decomposition and photolytic decomposition in the next video i'll be teaching you the difference between single displacement and double displacement reactions if you think that you like my video then kindly do subscribe my channel for getting notifications of the upcoming videos thank you